What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Dundalk Trap Podcast. Um, we're back. Yesterday was a bad day, but we're looking to bounce back. We had three and six, I think. Um, but it is what it is. We'll bounce back. Uh, you know, we've been up and down, and we have NFL, so we've been really good with NFL. Before I start, uh, before we start, how you guys doing? Good. Uh, glad to have our third third guy back here. You know, he came back with a bang yesterday. Oh, for three, yep. but that's all right. You know, shaking off the rust is good. First day, but he's gonna go three and I think tomorrow. He got like his plays. Oh. No, I do, I do, I do like the plays. It was bad. Sorry, the hockey fucks us every time. He did come back in fashion. Came back in fashion. Yep. It's okay. We it's all uh, good. Yep. I think you're gonna be really good today, hopefully. <laughs> um uh if I I mean if like I can't really say anything because you've like I've been bad since we started the podcast as well, but at some point, like maybe we could make money with you. You give out three plays, we fade. If yeah. you you know <laughs> like you're yeah. what I mean. Think what do you think I've been doing? <laughs> just your NHL. No, oh, raise, raise been fading. How do you feel about no, that? No, I have. I just haven't been placing them. I I just don't trust hockey at all. Yeah. Uh, it's not uh, you. It's everybody. I see no one make money off hockey. It's um definitely not a good way to do it. Look, I'm either hot or I'm ice cold, and right now I'm ice cold. So yeah, it's been that way. Good, pretty good time. Well, didn't the uh, Premier League start? So maybe you'll be uh, good with that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I had a Premier League uh, play today. Didn't hit. How'd that work? Didn't hit. Uh, I'll start. First play. <laughs> the pin. Sorry. Uh, my first play, the pin strike ball, Minnesota minus ten and a half. Mo Ibrahim announced he's playing in this, and I think he's like on the verge to set a couple of records. So he'll get the ball a lot in this game. They kind of want him to set those records. And they want Minnesota to finish out on top. Sean Tucker, on the other hand, for Syracuse, opted out, going to the draft. He's their whole offense, and especially in big games like this where you're playing against a good defense. Minnesota's been good both against the run and the pass. Um, and Minnesota's offense is just better than Syracuse, especially with Ibrahim playing. With no Tucker, I just don't see Syracuse being able to put up many points against Minnesota. It's a low total, so I'd expect Minnesota to kind of handle them. Syracuse, I don't know what Syracuse team total is at, but I would take the under on that. But my main play for the day is Minnesota minus 10 and a half. Yeah, I like that. Um, my first play is uh, James Madison minus six and a half against Georgia State. Uh, James Madison has been one of, one of the best mid-majors this year. Uh their first in points per game in the country. They score 93 points a game. Uh, I've bet on them a lot this year. They cover spreads. They, you know, play all the way through. Uh, Georgia State, on the other hand, is like 247th in the country. They only score like 69 points a game. Uh, they shoot the three horrible, like 28%. JMU shoots the three great, 38%. Um, they just have like five guys over 10 points and like seven guys that get eight plus, so they're deep and – if one guy's not going, I mean, they can fill in. So I think they uh, handle this spread pretty easily and win the game by 10 plus. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty easy play. All right. My first play of the day is Celtics minus five and a half. Um, been playing good basketball lately, coming off three straight wins. This is the last game of the home stretch. They're playing the Clippers. Last time we played the Clippers. We got embarrassed. Lost by 20. Terrible. Couldn't shoot. Couldn't do anything. I'm expecting the Celtics to come out hot. They should easily cover this spread. So, yeah, I like Celtics minus five and a half. Should be a lock. I need to come out hot. My first play. I'll tell it. Um, My next play. Here we go. Staying in college football. um, I got two for the same game. Florida State minus nine and a half and the under of 66 and a half. I think Florida State will score a ton of points in this game. I'm just worried about Oklahoma. Oklahoma will be without running back Eric Gray, both offensive tackles, Anton Harrison and Wanya Morris, and then their defense, starting defensive tackle, Jalen Redmond. That's four starters. 
who have a major impact. Florida State's defense is very good without your starting tackles. Florida State's going to get a ton of pressure. And I just think Florida State is literally just the better team overall. Nine and a half, I don't think is big enough. I think they won by 14, uh, two touchdowns. And I, I like the under just because I think Florida State will limit Oklahoma enough to where Florida State scores 35, 30 to 35 points. Oklahoma scores maybe 14, 21, somewhere around there. And this stays under. I think this game goes in the 50s. 66 and a half is a huge number. And majority of bowl games have actually been under. I've gotten, I've lost with a lot of overs, been taking over. So this is my first under that I'm trying. And also for Florida State, minus ten, nine and a half, they have no opt outs. Uh, quarterback's playing. He's been great for them this year. And Mike Norvell has really got the program back, program back to where fans have wanted it. So I like Florida State minus nine and a half and also the under of 66 and a half. Shout out, Rico. Shout out, Rico. Yeah. Maybe he'll actually go there with Nate Griffin. You never know. Oh. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. My next play is the Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys, uh, first half team total over 13 and a half. Uh, I think this kind of fits the game script, how it's going to be. I think they, you know, come out firing early after their big win against the Eagles. Um, they get up pretty early. You could take the first half spread, which is seven, I think. You could take that, but I just think two touchdowns in the first half should be pretty easy for this team. Um, Pollard is going to be out, but I think, you know, they can rely on Z Zeke and Dak. Uh, have had a good game after that early pick six last week. So I think they'll get, you know, good field position since Henry's out and Titans it will not have much on offense. So I don't think they'll be, you know, stuck inside their 15 a lot. So they should get good field position and be able to score 14 points plus in this first half. My second play is over six in the Sharks and Flyers game. Philly, after their hot start of the season, they have not been good at all. Um, over the past month, they've allowed the second most goals in the league, and for the whole season, they're in sixth. Ray, why are you geeking? I saw something on the phone. <laughs> um, the Sharks, the last game, they allowed six goals. And the last four games, the Tuzz went over six times. So, I mean, both these teams, really not good. And this is Philly's first game back after the little break. So, I'm expecting them to come out hot. So, as long as it's a close game, both these defenses are terrible. I see this total going over six pretty easily. So, Sharks and Flyers, over six. I like the line being six on six and a half. So, you, we can get the push if needed. Hockey overs have been horrible. If this one doesn't hit, I might have should. If this one doesn't hit, I think we should uh, just stick to your spreads. I, I your spreads have actually been good, spreads and in reg. I like those bets. The overs are just sketchy. I don't know. The overs, I like mean, I said, one of the they're easy against the better odds too because the empty netters are key. Yeah, but as we saw in this Flames game, they couldn't hit an empty netter to get at least get a push. Yeah. So. Well, you know, here we are. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right, my last play, Michael Gallup, over 30 and a half receiving yards. Gallup has had a pretty quiet year. He's coming off of ACL surgery last year, so it usually takes guys a full season before they're back to normal. Gallup was a big play threat, like major, before this. And this season, he's just kind of been quiet. They've got, got him involved in some – Shorter passes, but he's went over this in two of the last three games. Tennessee's passing defense has been atrocious all year. I think they're second. Uh, they allow the second most passing yards per game. And Dak will get him the ball. I think, like Ray said earlier, I think the first half, they kind of run the score up. And then the second half is more of a resting time and hand the ball off. So I haven't seen Zeke's number yet because I heard Pollard's questionable. So if Pollard's out, I would really, really take or consider taking Zeke over rushing yards. But my favorite play of the day, I would say, between this and the Florida State game, both of those plays, I like Gallup over 30 and a half receiving yards. I think he has four catches. That should easily put him over this. If he can get one for 15 plus, he'll go over this without a doubt. So it, it might be tight. It might be a sweat, but I still think he goes anywhere from 33 to 36 receiving yards and goes over this total. Yeah, I like that too. Um, 
my last play is in the Alamo Bowl, um, going Washington plus three. Um, Texas has a lot of opt outs. Uh, B. John Robinson, their star running back, is out. They have another running back out, a um, few defensive players. And then Jaden Alexis, their, one of their good receivers, is also out with a knee injury. So um, I think, you know, this this will be a close game, but I think uh, Washington wins outright. Uh, Penix, it's his first bowl game, so I think he'll want to uh, play well in that, you know, take advantage of the opportunity. Um, he had a great year, you know, fourth in total offense per game in the country. Um, I think Texas will struggle without their running back. I mean, Ewers will have to do it pretty much all by himself. And it'll be tough for him to keep up with 40 points a game from Washington. So it should be a high scoring but game, but I think uh, Washington pulls away at the end. All right. My last play is uh, Maple Leafs minus one and a half against the Coyotes. Toronto has been one of the best teams in the league this year. Um, the last time these teams played, Coyotes somehow won. Ray remembers that after taking their money line. It was plus like a thousand. Um, Morgan Riley's back for the Maple Leafs, one of their best defensemen. So this is a really big boost for them. They're coming on three straight wins. Arizona has won two straight games at home, but Toronto's a way better team all around. This should be an easy game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't see them losing two straight to the Coyotes. So Maple Leafs minus one and a half should be a good game to bet on. And if it's a close one, empty net should hit. But I see them winning by two or three goals. Where's the game at? It's in Arizona. What's the uh, rate like regular money line at? Uh, I think it's like three. Yeah, uh, minus three or five. And minus one and a half is like uh, minus one ten. You said. Yeah, it's one ten. All right. Okay. So yeah. Minus okay. three or five for money line. Yeah. Mm. All right. I haven't tailed. I'm not going to lie. I haven't tailed your hockey plays lately, but I might tail it. Uh, I actually, my only hockey bet I've had in a while hit. I had uh, Kings yesterday. They beat the Knights. And that had nothing to do with me. I saw somebody post it on Twitter. I don't, I can't. I'm going to start doing more reset, research for the props, but Fuck regular that. hockey, I don't. Fuck uh, that. Props are, they're fun. They're fun to watch. And hockey you can watch anywhere. I'm sick and tired of this NBA shit. People get hurt and benched every night. It pisses me off. Like college absolutely. basketball. College <laughs> basketball has been sketchy. I mean, I'm I'm gonna be much more into it now with uh much more into putting plays out now that it's conference play and it's easier to tell. But like, it's been the weirdest shit. I don't. I don't yeah, do you like it? Um, yeah, parlay tomorrow in the hockey. There's a big, lot of big ferrets I see. So you want to be like parlay? Yeah, there's like, mm, I like the Blues over the Blackhawks. Um, I'm not betting on the Maple Leafs twice. Um, well, if you're gonna do a minus one and a half, you might as well put them in the money line parlay, right? I only like having a straight in them in a parlay. What? You're uh, not confident. You you got to be confident, Gio. Confident, but I swear every time I have a straight and I put them in a parlay, it loses. I like. Oh, Island- so you said you said Blues over the Blackhawks. Yeah, first Island- play. Islanders over the Black Jackets. Uh, over the Black Jackets. Wait, the Blackhawks or the Blue Jackets? The Blue, Blue Jackets. Jack- Columbus. All right. Hmm. Jets over the Canucks. Jets over the Canucks. Maybe. Yeah, I like the Capitals. Capitals over the Senators. <sighs> is the other guy in goalie or is... Uh... He, yeah. Gio's fair player will probably be in goal. Kemper. Coming off a shutout. He's... I don't know, he looked good. Surprise. What about the Panthers over the Canadians? Mm. And any Canadian ones. Yeah, go ahead. Panthers are not that. They're inconsistent. 
This is 10 to win 54. That's horrible. Bro, those heavy favorites. Let's yeah, do it to lose. Put a plus money. Put the put the coyotes in there so you win either way. Yeah. <laughs> um Rangers are what about the stars? Rangers are I, I hate the wild. I hate the wild. They suck every time yeah. I go. You can put that in. That's plus one eight two. Are we going to trust our man, Shesterkin, against the Lightning? Mm. I love Igor, but... Mm. I don't know many hockey things. I know Igor. He's nice. Igor is nice. Yeah. Didn't look that good against Capitals, but Igor is nice. Well, why don't you straight bet them tomorrow, Gio? That's one of your plays. Rangers. Mm. I'll, I'll get the uh, old Rangers jersey out. Yeah, get the old Rangers jersey out. Wait, do you like them? I thought you gave out – no, that was today, Lightning. No, did you – no, you didn't give out Lightning. Mm-mm. The Rangers have been horrible lately, haven't they? I mean, they're three and two in the last five. Last game, they looked like crap. Due for a win. They are due yeah, for a win. And these teams play the, the – Lightning's nice, right? I mean, they've won – they have – Points, they're even. Wait, so. it says the Lightning are starting Elliot tomorrow, not uh, Vasilevsky. <clears throat> so I kind of like that. He's allowing over three a game. Save percentage isn't that great. Yep. Rangers plus what? 110. Lock it in. Igor, trust him. Trust Igor. Coming yeah. off a loss, they got embarrassed in MSG. I mean, they're gonna be coming out, going down to Tampa. They mean business. Will he play? Uh, yeah, he should. I don't. I don't watch enough hockey. Do they play on two days of rest or a day yeah. of rest? Yeah. The only thing he might not play is because they're traveling, but. Well, why is Vasilevsky not playing? Um, did the I think the Lightning played tonight. That's why. When do they have to confirm it by? Like, it's it's usually like an hour before the game. All right, if Igor plays, I'll post this. Play. Yeah, if like Igor on TikTok. I'll wait till they announce it, and then I'll post it on TikTok if he plays. Yeah, Lightning played tonight, so that's why Vasilevsky isn't playing. All right, um, that is it for the podcast. Uh, check back in tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't think Gio will be with us, but it'll be me and Ray. And then Friday, we will have a big, big, big show. We'll have a bunch of bets, and I'm not sure if Gio will be back with us yet, but it'll be definitely me and Ray. We'll have a bunch of NFL bets and college football playoff and bowl games through the weekend. Yeah, looking so, for that video. That's yeah, that'll be fun because we'll have a lot more to talk about. But hopefully we bounce back tomorrow. Geo's hockey plays. Hopefully he gets hot in hockey. Yeah. We need um hopefully I'd get better and I guess we'll we'll be fine. We're down three units today. But like we said before, we were up a good amount through the weekend at five and one. NFL definitely seems to be our best thing so far. And when MLB season starts, I think we'll be better too because I don't know. I think Geo hates MLB betting, but I like it. And Ray was good with it last year, too. So, we'll see. That's it for this episode. We'll be back yeah. tomorrow. Yep.